Shear Adhesion Procedure A. After you have conditioned your specimen rolls and cleaned your test panel surface, pull a sample that is 150 millimeters long and 12 millimeters wide. In this example, the specimen width is greater than the test width. Use a specimen cutter to remove a test sample from the center of the specimen. Carefully wrap one end of the specimen around a clamp, making sure it's in the center, and secure the sample with a stapler. Cut off the excess tape so that the specimen is approximately 50 millimeters long. Apply exactly 12 millimeters of the sample to the test panel using a two kilogram hand roller or mechanical roller at a rate of 600 millimeters per minute. The test panels used in this demonstration are from Chem Instruments Incorporated and include scribe lines for 12 millimeter and 24 millimeter sample areas. Also make sure the roll down is accomplished twice in each lengthwise direction to the very edge of the sample but no more so that the sample is not creased over the edge of the panel. Because a longer dwell time can increase adhesion, individually prepare each specimen and test within one minute. However, if you are testing for increased adhesion at longer dwell times, prepare your samples consecutively and allow them to remain untested for the prescribed period of time. Then test them in the same order in which they were prepared. Place the panel into the shear tester set for a vertical shear. Make certain the angle of the panel is such that no peel forces affect the sample. Reset the timer. Carefully attach the 1000 gram weight so that no impact forces affect the sample. This test is being performed using the 10 bank shear tester from Chem Instruments Incorporated. The design is such that the timer is automatically activated when the weight is lifted from the housing. Upon failure, the weight falls back into the housing and stops the timer. The average failure time for three samples shall be considered a completed test. 